Well, traffic whizzing by so fast, cars crashing into light poles, retaining walls and other vehicles. In some cases, this happens where cars just flip over. One neighbor is so fed up over all this that he reached out to Queen City News to spread the word on his request to the city. Anchor Morgan Francis tonight has the details on his ask that's taking what seems an eternity. As cars zoom by along Cove Creek Drive, some neighbors wait with bated breath for the next time they hear tires screeching on the pavement. When we first moved in, there was an accident right around this corner. In the past, we've had three light poles down, somebody KO'd a city trash can. Needless to say, a lot of wrecks. In the most recent, a driver flipped their car and took out this retaining wall to Jamie Wild Goose's yard. If we didn't have the retaining wall, I don't know the damage to my house or our neighbor's house or anyone's house in general. Drivers use the 25 mile per hour road as a cut through to the plaza. The neighbors are fed up with the speeding and crashes and they'd like the city to install speed humps. Wild Goose contacted their neighbor liaison to get the ball rolling. She's put in a petition um, that a lot of the people from the neighborhood have actually signed. Um, but that's been going for about two years. Queen City News did some digging and found out funding for speed humps is limited. And City Council has asked the department to prioritize all qualifying requests. Each one is evaluated and then placed on a waiting list. Wild Goose wonders if that method will hold up long term. This is, you know, a reality as Charlotte grows as a whole. Um, so I hope the city pays greater attention to the needs of the residents. Morgan Francis, Queen City News.